While we wait for more information about that suspect, his gun and how he got it, we do know the state of Maine has very different gun laws compared to New York State. Maine does not require people 21 and older to have a permit to carry a gun. It does not have background checks for private gun sales. And there are no red flag laws in place there either. New York State does require licenses and background checks and red flag laws here are aimed to stop people who show signs of being a threat from buying or owning a gun. This violence in Maine once again stirring up memories for people who lived through the May 14th shooting at Tops. 7 News senior reporter Eileen Buckley meeting with some survivors and family members today. Enough is enough. When, when are people going to wake up? Rosemarie Wysocki was working inside the Jefferson Avenue tops and witnessed the horrifying attack in May of 2022. She tells me she was shocked to learn of the Lewiston, Maine mass shooting. I just started praying for the families, knowing what they were, the loss of those beautiful lives, those beautiful souls, and the ones that witnessed everything, because their life will never be the same. My life's not the same. Wysocki, who now works for the top store in Alden, says the country must fight harder for better mental health. Mental health. Mental health. It, it, I mean, seriously, it, the government needs to really look at the mental health system. I had a tough time finding a counselor to take care of all this or to handle all of this. And I'm still in counseling and it's nearly two years later. And for Zadetta Everhart, whose son Zaire survived the Topps mass shooting, it's all about gun control. We're right back at that conversation of common sense gun reform. We are not trying to take your guns away. I will defend the Second Amendment 100%. This is America. If you want to own a gun, buy a gun. But do you need an AR-15? Everhart met me outside the Jefferson Avenue tops, reflecting on this latest mass shooting in yet another public space. This is America. We are citizens in this country. We should feel safe walking out our front door or going anywhere in this country without the threat of does that person sitting in their car in that parking lot have an AR-15? We don't need all of these guns. You know, there's no point for the average American uh, citizen to have a semi-automatic rifle. Mark Talley's mother, Geraldine, was killed in the top shooting. He tells me it makes no sense that someone with mental illness had access to an assault rifle. The main shooting suspect underwent a mental health evaluation in July after investigators say he began acting erratically during Army Reservist training. You know, you just get tired of seeing, you know, stupidity. And it seems people, you know, are starting to have less and less common sense. We're a voice for Buffalo. Eileen Buckley, 7 News.